Hello everyone, this is Joanna, Joanna the Medium. Thank you so much for coming back. These are going to be your messages for the month of November 2018. I want to give you a, a couple of um, couple of things before we move on to the messages. First and foremost, thank you for being here. Thank you for allowing me to do this. My intention is always to give you helpful information that will allow you to know yourself deeply. So whether it is um, something to think about or something that will um, allow you to do things differently or I give you a suggestion or idea, Spirit is here to help you to understand yourself better so that you can have freedom and more choices. Um, whatever signs you're listening to, whichever is your sign, sometimes you'll be, you'll be guided to see a sign that doesn't belong to you and you will find that the information there also applies to you. The way I work with my team is I try to bring information that is of most re rele relevance, relevance to everyone in all life, um, including practical uh, knowledge and practical advice. What I'm trying to say here is listen to your other signs as well as signs you normally wouldn't listen to, but you are drawn to. Also, this month, for some reason, I recorded two signs, uh, two messages for Gemini. I don't know how I did it. Never have done it before in the last two and a half, three years. And I've done them on the same day. It's almost as if I had amnesia. So you will notice that there is a Gemini reading one and Gemini message two, uh, video one and video two. Listen to both. Uh, for some of you, both will apply. For some of you, one will apply over the other. Um, I was asked, what do I do with this now? And the suggestion was given to me that I release both of them. So if you are a Gemini, consider this as a bonus month for you and um, see which one applies to you, uh, perhaps both. And of course, for any messages that you are looking for or any inside information on your personal life, um, these messages are general. You're welcome to connect with me. That information is down below for you. More than anything, I thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing and for sharing. I um, always am so grateful to be able to do this for you. Um, and it is what brings me a great joy. So thank you so much. If you would like to comment how these messages apply to you, I would love to read them. I wish you best of luck. Take care of yourself and see you soon. Let's move on. Hello, beautiful Sagittarians. These are going to be your messages for November 2018. Let me start off um, first with some channeled uh, information. Let me see uh, what I get for you. First, <laughs> I have a message for well, at least one of you not to forget to water the plants when you leave. Um, I have no idea who this is for, but if you are taking care of plants or somebody else's plants as in living things, or somebody on the, on the other side is telling you not to forget to water the plants, maybe there's a message in it for some of you. That's very, that's very interesting. Okay, whoever this is, um, well, this is for you. All right, let's tune in to the month of November. Okay, I want to get serious all of a sudden. Um, the energy that I have with you is is one of um, I feel very all over the place. Not that it's a bad thing, but I just feel kind of, kind of, huh, whatever. Uh, there's a lightness in the way I feel. Um, does that mean that you're going to feel this way in November? Chances are you'll get moments that feel like this, uh, but it's also something that you are um, creating or wanting being moving forward with um yeah that's what i'm being shown i'm also being shown uh, a decision uh there is uh, a need to either start a brand new journey um start a new potential uh which also implies needing to move on from what is current and what it really means in plain english is that um decisions often come with um Decisions often often come as a result of us having been troubled by something. So if you have been troubled by something in your life, chances are that in the month of November, maybe for some of you in October, you will begin to figure this out, whatever 
this represents to you. Uh, for most of you, this is around the energy of being hooked into something uh, that doesn't serve you. And a lot of it is to do with your ground and your foundation. So the number 10 is symbolizing again a completion. Many of you will uh, recognize this as me saying that you've come uh, to an end of one road and very shortly you will begin a brand new journey. So this would mean different things to different people because you have different circumstances in your lives. Uh, chances are this message is going to hit home for a uh, majority of you. For many of you, independence is very, very important. Yet, for whatever reason, I feel like I am stuck from being independent. So this is going to be for those of you who are currently feeling like you are remaining stuck and you don't know how to get out of it. Um, I also see that some of you have felt this way before. You've been in this situation before or you have felt this way. Uh, in other words, um, it feels familiar. And this is going to be for those of you who are currently in transitions. Um, how will I know if I'm in transition? Well, you'll feel that things are shifting and changing. Something in your life is changing and you know it. Um, or you are expecting something to change. In other words, that there is, there is some warning. Um, is there anything else? For some of you, um, okay, this is apparently around a legal battle, okay, um, and it's to do with a family court. I have no idea who I am talking about, uh, but I see somebody being reunited with somebody. So that's going to be a very specific message to, um, to some of you. Uh, I'm also supposed to say the month of October is very important. So if that message means anything to you, see if October men means something to you as well. And the, and the month of July. Thank you. Okay. Now, let me... Oh, the other thing I wanted to say is that... Um, I think I've said it already. I feel that many of you are transitioning. You are moving on. You are in a space where you are feeling like you're moving on. And you are choosing to either move forward, move away, walk away, transition away from uh, an old way of being, uh, an old way of thinking, an old way of... Um, connecting with yourself and everybody else, uh, essentially it is shifting uh, your perspective. So I said, okay, show me with cards. What's the weather? What's the lesson for them to learn? Um, and obviously it's not a lesson just in November. It is going to be a lesson at any point. It's a lesson for you. Point is this next card indicates uh, what you might be learning from your experiences right about now. And you have the dragonfly. So the dragonfly is a symbol of logic. It's a symbol for thinking. It's very much an air element. And this, this symbol is asking, you, look, is asking you to look closely at the way you see things and notice if some of the things that you see are things that are of your own making. Now, in other words, Notice if you're, what you're seeing is not uh, an illusion. So for some of you, you need to stop lying to yourself and you need to see things for what they are versus what you want them to be or, you know, yeah, versus what you want them to be. Um, many of you are looking, seeking for some answer, important answers. And part of the process of you getting your answers is to look at um to look at how you think now why is that now why is that so important because what we think is what we believe so if we think about something often enough we will have the reason to believe that it's true because we'll manifest it uh very clever way of of coming around this so in the month of November, notice if there is something that could use shift of perspective. Generally, this will be something that's poking at you, so to speak, and it wants your attention. Um, again, for some of you, this have happened in October, and for others of you, it will continue. It, this will apply at some point. But if um, you are dealing with an important. Uh, uh, with an, an important situation in your life. So anything, you know, job, family, uh, career, health, all the important pillars in our lives. If any uh, situations arise there, 
ask yourself this question. What is the reason for me being in this particular experience? And notice what comes up you may realize that when you ask that question, what you'll get is the real answer why you choose to do things the way you do things. So asking that question prompts you to listen, which also opens more door to more information. I'm talking about your intuition here in case those of you saying, who the heck, what is she talking about? So in the month of November, it is advisable for you to approach a new way of how you're thinking. Uh, so notice how that comes up. That's kind of the theme. Then I ask the question, what is their responsibility? Like, what is it that they need to run off with in, in, in November? What is it that they need to work on? You have the message into the unknown. So when I see this card, to me, it signifies trust. But number one, it signifies to me being in a situation where you may not know how to handle it. And if in fact that will be the case for you over the next little while, ask yourself if there is a way you can see this situation from a different perspective. Uh, ask yourself if some inner turmoil is not, um, what's the word I want to use? Um, it's not, it's not, Mm, clouding your, your vision. It's going to become very important for those of you who, who are meant to hear this. Very important. Jeez, my nose is itchy. Um, so that your responsibility is to recognize what some of those things might be for you. If you are in a situation where you are not clear and you don't know what the answers are, chances are you have to dig deeper to figure out what that is for you. There's an important lesson for a lot of you around the way you think, particularly with regards to how you manifest. Now, the next question I had was, show me where they're trapped. What is their... Um, what is their um, blind spot? What is it that they can't see about their, themselves, but it trips them up? You have a delusion of control. So this is going to be for those of you who use control in order to whatever is important to you. So it is a message to look at. And of course, if we feel the need to control ourselves or others or the world, it is always connected to some sort of belief that makes us afraid of something. That's why we need to have control. Because seemingly the more control we have, the less things we'll have to worry about. Not, not, not really, but that's what we think. So for you, it is examining if control plays a part in whatever in whatever it is that you are struggling with, with or trying to decide. Um, for some of you, it is to address how you control others in order to get what you what you want and what need that fulfills in you. For others of you, it is, and, I'm, and my guide is saying, just explain to the reason why, so that you have a deeper understanding of what makes you tick, so that you can understand what the real problem is, then once you know what that is, you can go and solve it. Um, so I always want to leave you guys with practical information. So issue for, issues of control. For some of you, it is um, being controlling overly controlling. Again, looking at uh, from a different perspective, asking yourself the question, what is it that I get out of being controlling? So then the, the, the area around control, I, I don't, I, I don't want to go any further with this. I want to keep it really, really, so, really uh, solid in, in terms of what are you getting in the next over a few weeks as far as a lesson and what it is that you need to look at in order to shift your perspective. So for those of you who can identify control issues inside of you, uh, and this could also be you attracting people who are controlling you. Again, uh, there is a reason behind that too. So this is something for you to recognize. 
why well so hopefully you can get out of the spot that you are in which is what you're trying to uh, figure out so then i said okay show me what is the uh what, what is it that they need to look at inside for example if it is a control issue what is it that you need to look inside to find the reason why why do you feel the need to control you have the uh, idea of alienness alien alienness this is really about feeling like you don't belong. It is about a feeling that you are always in transition and that you're not rooted, like you don't know where your home is. It is a feeling where the energy I feel is fleeting and I don't have enough time to just catch a breath and relax. It is, it is an energy that is hasty and it feels that things are done out of haste in order to protect one's safety security whatever it is if you have been feeling alien or if you have been feeling like you don't belong or if you feel like you're always drifting chances are you will exert a lot of control in order to regain some control of your life in other words the feeling of always drifting is not a very stable one. And if that's the case, we don't feel very safe. Point is, some of you need to look at the underlying layers of why you might have issues around control. And notice how those issues or those unfinished businesses, uh, undoubt emotions, um, keep you uh, isolated or keep you uh, safe and therefore perhaps isolated and the need for control becomes in handy when once one wants to keep themselves stuck if one wants to protect themselves um, so if you are feeling like you need to be always in control there's also a reason a need for you to look deeper as to why so then I said okay Tell me more plainly, what is the advice here? Uh, Five of Pentacles is a message to me that talks about poverty consciousness. And poverty consciousness is our beliefs which are rooted in lack, L-A-C-K, meaning not enoughness of something. So more than anything, you will be able to recognize if you have beliefs around safety and security, particularly when it has to do with money, possessions, or relationships, and if your view of such is not a negative one. Uh, because if it is, notice how this connects to you uh, and control and how perhaps that connects to you feeling like you don't belong or you didn't belong. This message is going to mean something to some, to, to some of you. For some of you, you're going to have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, so the message here is shift your thinking, shift your po poverty thinking. Now, our thinking is clouded by our fears and lots of things, but our fears as well. Uh, so if you have a, a, a poverty consciousness, you will remain stuck and therefore your vision will be cloudy. Now, what is the butterfly? What is the dragonfly about? It's about making sure that you uh, that your vision is not clouded, that you can see things very clearly. So I feel like I'm being taken full circle in order to help you understand what it is that I'm trying to say to you. Um, and it is about having come to a point of your own inner growth where repeating the same patterns become unnecessary to your growth. In other words, they don't serve you anymore. They've served their purpose and it's time to move on. Uh, this often indicates a shift of perspective or a shift of perception, which changes the way we see things so we don't, so we don't see, uh, we are not clouded by this illusion of, of we are what we think. We think we think based on who we are. I think you guys understand what I'm trying to say here. Field of dreams is another message that's, um, that's being um, shown here. To me, it is about allowing yourself to dream big. It is about not put, not having yourself be boxed in or feeling like you're boxed in or feeling like you need to be control or controlling um, and starting to imagine, imagine big for yourself. 
uh, creatively, passion-wise, um, the ability to create various things. It all begins with dreams. So the message here is, is allow yourself to dream big. Don't skip a beat, which means don't procrastinate in creating your desires. But in order for you to create any of your desires, you need to make sure that your thought process is not clouded by some unfinished business from the past because um, whatever that is for you, you, you won't be able to see, uh, I'm gonna back up, it's too much information. I think I'm just gonna leave it with that. Is there anything else I need to let them know about? It's interesting because I see rain is very cleansing and I'm saying, surely you're not telling them, uh, you're not giving them advice to stand out in the rain in order to be cleansed. Um, so that was funny. What this is symbolizes to me, symbolizing to me, is that over the next, well, starting in November, you will feel like you are being cleansed. And that that means different things to different people. Um, you will be taking the time to cleanse yourself, whether it is thoughts, whether it is beliefs, whether it is uh, looking at yourself and um, seeing what you see there is um, a really a marked feeling of cleanliness, clean, cleanliness, spiritual cleanliness. Um, and also I want to say absorb, abs absorb all you can from your current learnings. Um, you guys will know that this means I have no idea. And then I'm being shown the idea of, of a sand and, and, the hourglass when we take the sand when we look at the sand and we see its little tiny separate particles each individual particle in its in itself is not that big but when you have a whole bunch of tiny particles in a bunch big pile all of a sudden you have a, a lot of sand it's very tangible point being here is that Many of you have been working on yourself very, very hard. And although as you were working very hard, you were not seeing what was happening, how you were changing, now you're at the point where you can look back and you can see how far you have come. So it is, uh, it, uh, it is a message to say, congratulate yourself for being here, for it was tough uh, on many occasions. Um, and, I, and then I see the image of a diver diving into a pool. Uh, and to me, it's about taking chances, uh, emotionally speaking, um, trusting emotionally speaking. And another message is diving deep into your deeply subconscious beliefs by looking at your beliefs so that your vision is not clouded. Every time our vision is, vision is clouded, it makes, us, it makes it difficult for us to see what we're after. Because, well, it's like driving in a car when the windshields are dirty. It's very hard to see. It requires a lot of effort, but it's, mm, no, it's not. It's, it, it, sometimes it's dangerous, right? Um, and then I hear practice makes it easy. I think that's all I have. Um, except I'm seeing a lay, uh, an onion and layers being pulled from the onion and I feel the message here is the closer you get to the center, the sweeter it is. Hmm, I wonder if the center of the onion is sweet. Very interesting. Uh, point is that the, the deeper in we get, the sweeter it gets, though the individual, and there's layers and layers. Um, you can think of your like of your life in the in those terms uh and of your experiences each time you understand an experience each time you you peel the layer there's another one underneath it except it's a little bit sweeter so whatever sweeter means to you that's um uh, that's a uh that's a nice distinction now you <laughs> okay i guess my guide is a cook because <laughs> i don't know what this means that's interesting uh for those of you who are foodies, let me know if when you pour milk on the onion, if something happens to the taste, if it loses that quality that makes you cry. There is something about milk being poured over onion. Um, I don't understand what that means. If you guys know what that means, please let me know, enlighten me. Uh, but there's a message behind this apparently. Uh, 
Okay, so what they're showing me is um, milk, and it's if if milk actually you know somehow diminishes the effects of the onion, milk on its own uh, doesn't do anything for the onion. Uh, it is upon combination of the two that great things happen. What they're trying to say here is that many of you need to take your emotions into consideration. And perhaps for those of you who control your emotions, you need to pay attention to those in particular. Um, so that's very interesting. That's going to mean something for some of you. And I think that's all I have. Uh, it felt actually very long, uh, although it's only 22 minutes. Uh, remember, it's all about the higher perspective and how you see things. The moment you shift your thinking, the moment you shift your what you how you see things, is the moment the whole world opens up to you accordingly. So shift about what you think about, or shift your thinking. Um, Thank you so much for liking and for sharing uh, and for watching this, whatever this means to you. If it means nothing to you, listen to it a little bit later when something perhaps comes up um, or see how this um, applies to your current life. Of course, for private sessions um, for you and I only, uh, that information is down below. Thank you again so much. Let me know how this connect connects with you. I wish you best of luck. My intention is always to offer you something very educational. So I hope you like it. Take care. See you soon.